Sub shitters, my name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we're going to be checking out a track from an act uh, named I Fight Kids, titled 3AM. And uh, if we switch over to here, we've got the track on the screen, we've got a YouTube video, we're going to be listening through this track from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go, let's do this. Haven't listened to these guys before, good chance for a first impression, we'll see how we do. Great job. Great job coming with those drums there, you know, instant groove, nice quick tempo to it, lots of energy. Great uh, combination of different elements here with the guitars, multiple guitar lines and the bass and the drums there. I'm, I'm picking up the vocals. The vocals sound as if they might be a little bit quiet in the mix, but that's okay. That's okay. I like the vocal melodies this guy's singing. He has an interesting texture. It is standing out reasonably amongst the rest. One of those songs would be awesome to hear live, you know? So we're talking about 3am and ceiling, is this about like waking up at 3am or so like tripping out or having dreams or something like that? Nice articulation with those high guitar parts on the right side. Beautiful natural harmonics there as well on those strings. Clever stuff as well with these guitar parts. I think the distortion coming a little bit later on in the single, you know, allow further articulation of that um, lead part there. It helps us stand out amongst the clean sort of chimey rhythm parts. Oh no, we've got some harmonies going on here. Very colorful. Has a dreamlike quality to it, very sort of mystical. Great to have a different chord progression here, a little bit of developed sort of from a structural perspective as well, you know. It's uh, so because a lot of music I hear nowadays um, literally just has one or two main sections, like one or two main chord progressions, and sometimes they're the same chord progression, but it's like a verse and a chorus. Whereas here, you know, we actually we have some effort put into sort of being a little bit more creative with the way we sort of pan it across the three and a half minutes. Nice little bit of vocal fry here coming in from the vocalist as well. It's a different texture to what we had earlier, a bit more force behind it, a bit more on. Got a psychedelic aesthetic to it, you know, I really dig it. Yeah, they're really competent, they think, yeah, shows great technique. Oh, this hammer on pull off, he bits and the bends and the, 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 the sort of 16th notes of that tempo.
No, fantastic. 3 a.m. by i5 kids. That's a hell of a jam, man. It's a hell of a jam. You know, we've got lyrics though. So before we go into the conclusion, we'll have a look at the lyrics. So I don't know if you guys can see it here, but basically we've got lyrics here for the song 3 a.m. It's, um, you descend from your heaven won't let you open up my cell. Oh, okay. Won't you open up my cell? Apologies, mis mis misread that. <laughs> Great start proceedings. Yeah, okay, so this is someone being taken away from their dream, their, their cell is their reality, and they're being taken on an exotic adventure, you know? Slip your way through the ceiling of this tree and pack your bags and don't look back here, we're on our way. I kind of dig that. I like that sense of journey, that sense of um, a future we have hope and optimism for an alternative aside from what we're actually experience, living experiencing, you know? Nothing's going to last forever, yeah, so we're, we're appreciating that potentially this trip for our might not be forever. Destroyer bridges sail the oceans, we'll leave and find a way. I like that. I do, I do like that. Um, I like the idea of where you are at A and finding B, wherever that may be. Being dedicated to simply not staying in a place where you are feeling sort of trapped and isolated potentially. Finding that sense of connection there with the world around you, seeing what the bigger picture is. And hoping that we land on our feet again, I'm assuming... You know, that even if we do go on this journey, we might not really be totally stable for a while, but they're hoping that once they go through this journey, this transition, that things will eventually sort of even out and sort of resolve themselves. And they're acknowledging it might be a while, but still it's, it's okay, you know, because this is effectively the conclusion of my review of 3M by I Fight Kids. I mean, we've talked about what the track is about in the lyrics section. The vocals here, I think, were fantastic. It's great for someone to sort of be having that sort of that dream sequence or maybe there was more to it being explained by someone who sounds like they've actually sort of been through that, that want, that will to escape and go further or go beyond to a, to a different future where the grass is greener and everything else associated with that. Um, he sang it in a way that showed good good vocal technique, you know, it was comfortable within his head, chest voice. A little bit of vocal fry there as well in that later section, which made it sort of stand a bit more, had a bit more power to it. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, obviously knew the music theory and composition because they knew how to sort of harmonize with the other bits of the accompaniment and vice versa. And um, ultimately there wasn't a lot of ornamentation in here, but I don't think there needed to be a lot of vibrato or anything like that. It was more sort of straightforward, sort of like kind of indie kind of rock performance here. And there was already a lot of color in the harmony anyways with those lead guitar parts on either side. So overcomplicating the vocal part may have been detrimental to the overall listening experience. But yeah, no, we clearly um, were passionate about what we were singing. We sung our heart out in our second part, and our first part was a bit softer, I think, just for the point of dynamic range and development of the actual sort of quote-unquote feel and vibe of it. Um, going between those two sections, you know. I'd also say that maybe we sang a little bit more intensely in that second part stand out from the accelerated movement of those guitars and everything, because you've got more happening in the back end, you need to sort of move it forward on the front to elevate it, you know. Um, the theme behind it was very colorful and creative and quirky and kind of surreal, I suppose, you know. I'm trying to sort of ignore the videos that I watch in these reviews because they can sometimes color or distort my views on the actual music itself. Um, but when I listen through this track, I hear someone who clearly, you know, we have a band here who, who clearly care about the music that they're creating. And they understand that you can have one sort of main sort of core progression or baseline fill in three and a half minutes, but it might not be enough to keep people totally satisfied. So again, we split the track halfway in three and a half minutes. That's a great effort to have two different sort of distinct sections to go on a bit more of a journey as opposed to going between a dedicated verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then sort of pity ring out like that. I like the use as well of like the solo section to split those two um, but yeah the, the motif was nice and colorful and quirky and sort of i think emboldened what was going on with the lyrics about the journey of the travel we're on a desire for that had a bit of tension there but as we went up and we ascended and soared it was almost like we were flying through the sky towards our next going through the ceiling along with the person who freed us and i think that's a beautiful thing it's it's very intelligent you know the the actual storytelling itself was great you know lyrics weren't too much they weren't they, there was a little bit of figurative nature to them but it wasn't like totally straightforward but it also wasn't pretentious you know we had musicians who could clearly sing and, and 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 perform and play in a way that had great chemistry and the story i think they wanted people to understand the story well and clearly and they didn't want to overcomplicate it they wanted people to, be able to sort of absorb it all at once on the first listen and i have a lot of respect for that some musicians they'll be like oh no take three listens to get everything it's like no no, no it's too much people don't have that attention especially if you're um if you're a band that's sort of coming up you can't take listeners for granted and i get in trouble with that people get in arguments with me about it but whatever man it's what i think <laughs> i want to make sure the first time is the best time you know what i mean basically with the extra performance itself there wasn't a note out of place i did like the 
um, the lever it fills from the drummer, but I also like the fact that it kept to a consistent eighth note groove and you had to interact with the bass player as well who stuck with those root notes and was great foundational alongside them. The guitar parts were exploring all over the fretboard, lovely little bits of broken chords and some strumming occasionally, but really articulate sort of arpeggios that kind of went up and down the frequency spectrum and glided and sort of sat where they needed to and were somber and then more energetic as went along. And, uh, you know, as big in that solo section of Center Stereo Field was a great change of pace for what we had going on with the vocals. I liked the difference in the timbre and the, and the coloration of that, but I also think that it was a fitting substitute for that. It didn't alienate us from when the vocals came in later on. I think all in all, again, the reason I said that this track could sound great live is because I could hear everyone playing their own instruments. Clearly a competent band who really care about what their music and they really care about their art form and I hope they can continue to make great music in future. I think finally the recording, mixing, mastering, the production side of things is fantastic, you know. Uh, the, the vocals were recorded well. I'm still 50-50 on whether or not they were too quiet in the mix. I could hear them for the most part and maybe they were allowing for a bit of dynamic range in that later half where they became a little more intense and there was a change of perceived loudness of the vocals in relation to everything else. But we also, it could just be the headphones I'm listening and sometimes they're absolutely kind of like, unrepentant with how much they want to crush those down um everything else was phenomenal you know like the guitar bass and drums were sensational you know they were, um side changed really really well it sounded like they were recording through an analog disc it's had a nice sort of warmth to it um the cueing and filtering of the various other instruments in there was fantastic although i'm sure they had a few effects going through the guitar amps as well um to get that kind of airy sort of reverby delayed kind of echoey kind of vibe there was a bit of glistening and obviously the distortion that came in as well great gain staging on that guitar tone by the way i'm not sure if we did separate recordings for the solo sections and stuff but either way it was really cool the track was nice and loud and nice and wide in the stereo field the limiting compression was done very very well without any pumping or weird stuff going on and the leveling of the instruments aside from my minor grievance with the vocals which is subjective to me listening through different sort of devices to hear if that's the case all in all i'm mostly very 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 happy with because this is my first uh, time listening to I Fight Kids uh, with their song 3AM and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go check out I Fight Kids' various social medias and uh, the YouTube page and stay cool, stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out. <laughs>